Hey guys, welcome back to Rowan's Math Club. Today we'll learn how to find an equivalent fraction and decimal from a percent. Now this may seem like a very long title, but it's actually pretty simple because all you're doing is you have a percent and first we're going to learn how to convert it into an equivalent fraction and then we'll learn how to convert the percent into a decimal. So first let's start with converting a percent to an equivalent fraction. So the rule is when finding an equivalent fraction from a percent, First convert the percent into a fraction and then you can convert that fraction into an equivalent or equal fraction. So we know that equivalent means equal. So let's go ahead and write a percent here. So let's say we have 45%. Now in order to find an equivalent fraction, first we have to find a fraction. So we have to convert this percent into a fraction. So remember this. What percent really means is out of 100. So any number, so if it's a percent, it's going to be out of 100. So 45% is really 45 out of 100. So this is the fraction for 45%, 45 over 100. And the next step is find an equivalent or equal fraction. Now in order to find an equivalent fraction, you can either multiply or divide both the numerator and the denominator, but the key of the key point is that you have to use the same number. So if you're going to multiply, you have to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the same number. And if you're going to divide, you have to divide them by the same number. Most people prefer to multiply, okay? So you can multiply by any number as long as it is the same, okay? So let's go ahead and I'm going to multiply both of these by 2. So 45 times 2 and 100 times 2. So we know that 100 times 2 is 200. And 45 times 2 is 90, because if we do 45 multiplied by 2, we know that 5 times 2 is 10, 0, and then carry the 1. 4 times 2 is 8, plus the 1 is 9, so 45 times 2 equals 90. So that means 45 over 100 is equal to 90 over 200, which is the same thing as, if we write this, as 45% is equal to... 90 over 200. So this is the equivalent fraction we get from 45%, okay? So this is how you find an equivalent fraction from a percent. Now let's move on and find a decimal from a percentage, okay? So now let's read our second rule, which says, when finding a decimal from a percent, first convert the percent into a fraction, and then you can convert the fraction into a decimal. So this time, let's say we have 20%. The first step in this is to find the um, fraction, so convert this percent into a fraction. So remember, percent means out of 100, so 20% is the same thing as 20 out of 100. So now we have our fraction. Next step is pretty simple. All you have to do is find a decimal that is equal to this fraction. And in order to convert a fraction into a decimal, all you have to do is divide the numerator, which is the top number, by the denominator, which is the bottom number. Now, before we divide, we can eliminate zeros here because we really don't need them. After all, you're going to be dividing. So for every zero that you cut out in numerator, you have to cut out the equal number of zeros in the denominator. So that means if I cut out one zero from the 20, I can cut out one zero from the 100. It just makes it shorter because when you're dividing, it's more simpler. So now 20 out of 100 reduced is 2 over 10, which is the same thing as 0 0.2. And I got 0 0.2 because if you divide 2 by 10, we know that we cannot divide 2 by 10 because we're gonna, we, the 2 is smaller than the 10. So you put a decimal point up in the quotient, add a 0. We know that 10 goes into 20 twice, and you get 0 0.2 or 0 0.2. So that means 20% is equivalent to 2 over 10, or the decimal is 0 0.2 or 2 tenths, okay? So that's all I have for this video. I hope you guys learned something from, uh, valuable from this video. If you want extra practice problems on this topic or any other topic, please feel free to visit our website. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.